Hello, this is Joseph Montanez from Gorilla3D. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and learn about statements. The first two statements I'm going to teach you are if and switch cases. Um, so an if statement is basically saying if a variable equals this, then do your segment of code. If a variable else, you know, then do this segment of code. And there's also the if else, which allows you to add multiple if statements and blah blah. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example. Um, if is our keyword for the if statement. Then we have the brackets to in case what we want to test. So we're saying if, let's put an integer up here, int max equals 10. So we're saying if max, and instead of saying equals 10, this would actually assign max or equal 10. So if we put equal equals 10, this would test the, the variable max to see if it's true against 10. So if 10 truly equals 10, or if max truly equals 10, then we are going to um, insert our statement that we run, or insert our, our, our code that we run around here. And as you see here, after the brackets, we add curly brackets to in case our code that we want to run. So if it if max equals ten, we're going to do system dot out dot print line, and we're going to put max is equal. So now if we go ahead and save this and run it, we should get max is equal to 10. There we go, max is equal to 10. Now if max is not equal to 10, we can say else. So we instead of doing if max does not, which is the not sign is the exclamation mark, is not equal to 10. We can do system that max is not equal to 10. So if we change this to 5, if we change our max variable to 5, and we recompile the code, we get max is not equal to 10. A shorthand way to do this is instead of having if does not equal 10, or max if max is not equal to 10, is put in else. That's the shorthand version of it. Um, so if we again, if we save it and run it, we get max is still not equal to 10. Now we can have multiple ifs within an if statement. This is called an else if. So we do else if, and then we do our brackets for our, our statement that we want to evaluate. So let's say if max equals 5, and we do system dot out print max is equal to 5. Now if we go ahead and can compile it, and it says max is equal to 5. So again, if we want to check the else to see if that works, we can change this to like 2 and run. And now we get max is not equal to 10. So it's not equal to 10 and it's not equal to 5. So if it doesn't equal any of those, then we're going to run this statement or this block of code. Um, the next thing to do, other than having a lot of if else if statements, and you don't need a lot of complexity on how you're testing your variable is the statement uh, switch statement. Um, basically, all that is is switch all that basically is is saying 
uh, we're going to create multiple if statements that are really simple. So we're going to do switch a brackets. And we test one variable here. So we're going to do switch max. That's our variable we're going to check, which is up here, integer max equals two. And we do our brackets. And instead of having our block of code here, we do case cases. So we do case. And we're going to say one. So if this is basically equivalent to saying if max is equal to one, then we run this code. And instead of saying, or instead of adding the curly brackets, we just simply start adding our code here. So we're going to say system.out.print max is equal to 1. And then to end this case, we do break the semicolon. And now we do our next case. Case. And let's say this is 5. And again, we write our block of code. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And do max is equal to 10, or max is equal to 5. And then we can do our last one case 10. And we can actually print this or paste this. X is equal to 10. And the else, so this is basically saying else or else if, else if, else if, and then else. Default is basically the else within the case statements. So if it doesn't equal any of those, then we can do max is not equal. Go to one, five, or ten. So let's go ahead and get rid of this code up here. And now we have our switch statements. And we can go ahead and run it. <coughs> so there we go. We have max, uh, the max is equal to two and it's not equal to 1, 5, or 10, so we have max is not equal to 1, 5, or 10, which is the default, which is basically the else of an if statement. This ends this tutorial.